Vester Flanagan was employed by WDBJ7 as a reporter between March 2012 and February 2013. He applied for the position using the air name of Bryce Williams. As part of WDBJ7 standard policy and protocol for background checks, uh, we uh, received only positive references. Uh, Flanagan's job performance and his interaction with his co-workers led his manager to place Flanagan on a succession of performance improvement plans. Only slight improvement was noted each time. Flanagan was placed on a final warning in December 2012 for failure to check his facts in a news story and generally for poor, poor news judgment. In January 2013, he accused one of the news photographers here of making trouble for him by questioning a decision to go on private property in pursuit of a story. Uh, at that point, in, uh, in a meeting with uh, a manager and HR, he raised some concerns with HR of perceived unfairness, and those uh, accusations or concerns were immediately investigated and found to be without merit. Uh, shortly after that, he confronted an anchor in the hallway, uh, an anchor who was assigned by a producer to review one of his stories, and he was uh, not happy about that. At that point, uh, management made the determination that it was the appropriate time to separate him from the company. On February 1st of 2013, two news managers and the HR manager notified Flanagan of the decision to terminate his employment. He reacted angrily, telling them that they would have to call the police because he was going to make a stink and it was going to be in the headlines. Uh, the HR rep uh, then called 911. Employees had been notified to give Flanagan space to clean out his desk. At, once at his desk, Flanagan attempted to reach the corporate CEO uh, without success. At that point, the police arrived and escorted him from the building. On the way out, he handed a wooden cross to the news director, uh, who was uh, at that time Dan Dennison, and he said, you'll need this. He also made a derogatory comment to Adam Ward, uh, the news photographer whom we lost yesterday as he left.